Good evening, I'm Ryan P.C. Trimble. And I'm Kirsten Wiles. The Brown Coat Pub and Theater has served as home to pineapple shaped lamps for almost two years now. During that time, we've experienced phenomena that can only be described as paranormal. Costumes taken off their racks, lights flickering on and off with no warning, props taken off the shelves and shoved into toilet bowls. We tried to find an explanation but could not come up with anything conclusive. And so, we decided to find some answers. I took it upon myself to sit down with Richard Davis, the owner of the brown coat, and ask him a few questions. His answers were revealing, to say the least. So back in the 70s, the brown coat was a sex shop slash strip club uh, named Foxy Delilah's Party Time. It was owned by a Hungarian man named Barto Bershex, and his two headliners were a pair of uh, female strippers uh, named Aphrodisia Fronell and Gozul Dikwa Titi. When the club caught fire in 1978, Bartow evacuated all the customers, but he made the girls stay back and fight the blaze. As they were strippers with a limited grasp of the English language, they couldn't read the instructions on the fire extinguisher and they perished. I very firmly believe their spirits haunt the brown coat. Could it be that the theater was in fact haunted by the ghosts of two Eastern European exotic dancers? Armed with this new information, we decided to talk with our fellow PSLers. I'm very perceptive to people's auras, and I just feel this, this dark, foreboding blackness and glitter and daddy issues. And... Ghosts? Oh, man. Yeah, whenever I'm up in the green room, they'll start to touch me. And at first, I'm still scared, but then they start going for the swimsuit area. And I like it. I don't think they like women. I was actually going upstairs for some costumes and I started hearing this, this really eerie music and then all of a sudden I got pushed from behind and I looked behind me and this all these squirts of just lube started coming at me and it got in my eyes and it got in my mouth and it was delicious because it was strawberry, but it was just this ghostly loop coming at me. The, the ghosts of the brown coat are kind of cool. It's kind of sexual, but I like them. Um, it was about a year ago, and I had used the bathroom. And I went into the bathroom, and I started doing my business, and then all of a sudden, they were right there. It was in front of me, and they were dancing, and they were happy, and I was happy, and we had a great time. So we learned a few valuable things. The activity was concentrated to the green room upstairs, the spirits often materialized while accompanied by disco music, and they were very friendly with the male members of our cast. Which of course, I mean, they're strippers, so. This in mind, Kirsten and I knew there was only one thing we could do next. To spend the night in the brown coat entirely alone. Well, except for Matt. <laughs> and Holly. But other than that, entirely alone. How did we end up in a bathroom? Oh, please, Kirsten, we're not in a... Oh, my God, how did we get in the bathroom? Oh, the brown coat. Yep, that is where we are. Wait, why is Holly here? Because I'm a key holder, and without one, you cannot be here alone. I really feel like we're stretching the definition of the word alone. Text message, but keep going. Hmm. Let's go up to the green room, shall we? Let's. You know, Kirsten, I must warn you, I sleep in the nude. Well, that's nice, Ryan, but we're not going to be doing any sleeping tonight. <laughs> hey, that's not what I meant. We need to stay up and listen for paranormal activity. Oh, I love ghost stories. So this one time I was at my grandmother's house and it was a cold, dark, stormy night. I heard a strange noise. You know what, Holly? You're done. Okay. You're done. Ah, the epicenter of the para- <laughs> Really, Ryan? <laughs> Lol, sorry. The paranormal gives me belly rumblings. We're still gonna sleep. That chair looks really comfy. What about you, Matt? I don't get paid enough to waste my time. Okay, bye, Matt. Ryan, Ryan. What? I smell smoke.
<laughs> Are you four? <laughs> Or ghost, is that you? Touching my head. Blag! <laughs> is that how you got stripper ghost? <laughs> Threw a dildo at me. Anything. Get the camera. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. What? Oh. Oh. Oh god. They're strippy. Oh god. Hey, I like your dancing. Holly. Oh, we got to go. We got to go. We got to oh, go. Um, um, oh, okay. Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Doing, Holly? What do we do? How do we make him go away? Please don't. What if we turn on the light? Please don't. Go, hurry, go. Ah! Oh my God. They're gone. Holly's gone. Where'd Holly go? <laughs> Ryan, can you seriously not <laughs> fart at a time like this and turn the camera off? Was it a ghost that took Holly Cole, or was it something else? We may never know. It was a ghost. Obviously, it was a ghost. The slutty ghost took Holly. Hey, guys. Where you been? 